up YouTubers? Today is Monday the 13th of January and I'm going to be training legs. So I've just put up at the gym now, but I have a bit of an announcement to make and that is that the sweat challenge starts officially today. Uh, I'm going to be doing my specialized program build that I've put together. It's a six week program especially for this occasion. So um, let's get in and do it. Been patiently waiting, now it's time to settle the score. Been planning to go to war, my hunger's longing for more. Ready to strike down from a cloud in a thunderstorm. Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Come up story, been plotting and warming up for glory yeah. Took many losses, karma's got something coming for me yeah. The bigger picture, the higher meaning, the larger plan Gotta keep believing, ain't no fucking holding back The rebel rumbling rapidly, battle scars hunt me mentally Metaphors are the remedy, shoot my shot, aim it steadily Overcome what's been fed to me, food for thought on the trapeze Who would've thought I would ever be having a day with destiny? Oh. They act like they don't know what's up yeah. They be watching my moves, I be moving it up a notch oh. Gunning for the Top. Ain't no way I'ma go back down Act now, time is running, ain't no turning back now They act like they don't know what's up They be watching my moves, I be moving it up a notch Gunning for the top, ain't no way I'ma go back down Act now, time is running, ain't no turning back now So one of the major differences between a high bar and a low bar squat is the positioning. So as mentioned before, I'm going to be doing a high bar, which means it's going to sit higher on my back and going to keep me in a more upright position, really utilizing my quads. What you're going to be thinking about is keeping your chest nice and upright. It doesn't matter if your knees travel over your toes. This is actually okay in a high bar position. It just means that you're going to be using more of your quads. However, if you were to do a low bar squat, it's going to sit lower on your back and you're going to be using more of your hips, hamstrings and glutes. So it, the difference is you're really sitting back into the movement opposed to like being more upright. Your knees will sit behind your toes with this one, so you're going to be in a more bent position. So what I'm going to do now is transition from a high bar to a low bar. This is high bar. For me, and everyone's different because of their shoulder mobility, but for me, this is a low bar. Another little tip that I really want to show you guys, and it's not a big tip, and these are all really simple, but this has helped me so much. You'll notice that when I unrack the bar, I stop until the bar stops. So check this out. Wait. Avoid walking out straight away while the bar hasn't settled on your back. I remember when I first started gym, I just would, this is what I would do. I would go like this, I'd get us super amped up. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go. And it was so, it just made the job so much harder. So just taking the time just to let it settle. And when you're ready, take a breath and get into position as little steps as possible. <sighs> Maybe one to two. And I'm really sure that it will help you balance and squat in a really perfect position as well. <laughs> Another tip to my 101 tips is move the bar to the rack. Don't unrack when the bar hasn't been pushed against the, the racks here. By pushing it against the rack, it's going to help wedge the bar tighter on your back. So once again, push it all the way, keep things tight and strong, get into position, settle, one, two. So here's a sweat challenge here for those of you who've been asking. If you look at my program here, so I'm going to be doing lower body today, so I'm going to click that and here we go. So these are the equipment that you're going to need. It tells you if you don't understand what RPE means and stuff like that. So you're always prepared. You don't even need to be thinking about anything. If you have any questions, it tells you. Or if you, it doesn't tell you for some unknown reason, just DM me and I'll tell you anyway. So that's what I'm here for to help you. Uh, I'm your support during this time and I'm in your pocket all day long. So we're just in this together, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Gunning for the top, ain't no way I'ma go back down. Act now, time is running, ain't no turning back now.
running for the top Ain't no way I'ma go back down Guess I made it to the top now I got a lot of people wishing I would trip and fall down But when you go with your life <laughs> Where's my water? <laughs> I just did my first Oh fudge I just did my first working set Of 70 kilos for 15 reps And I am not used to that much volume No way Oh my gosh I can hardly breathe It's like it's like cardio. My heart rate, I don't even want to... Actually, let's, let's measure my heart rate. So my heart rate says it's 148 BPM, which is like... That's like running on a treadmill at high pace intensity. <laughs> this one then we'll go up in weight. So we are pyramiding, but we are going up as we do it. Down in reps, this way, but up in weight. Um, even though the reps are lower, the weight is getting harder, so there's no, there's no respite. <laughs> 7.5, here we come, the baby plates. They may look small, but every little bit you feel on your back. Oh, the goal with this one, as we go heavier, is lowering reps, so 10 reps. 12. So 12 reps, far out. I'd <laughs> like to welcome y'all to the dark abyss. Y'all should have messed with me, won't get the best of me I'm living happily, this how it has to be Manifest destiny, one of the best MCs Put you to rest with these, y'all are just casualties It's the wild, wild west Guns go boom, boom, or go pow, pow, fast Eyes on the clock as the countdown sets The time is right now, fuck SoundCloud rap What people usually do when it comes to training higher reps Is they go lighter with the weight Um but doing it this way completely shocks, shocks the body and makes you work a lot harder and you are going to surprise yourself with some muscle gains. So the goal is to go as heavy as you can, even with the higher reps. <laughs> See you guys, even I struggle. It may look like all pretty flowers and rainbows, but sometimes I cry when I'm not being filmed. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. I don't know what's about to come. <laughs> Eyes on the clock as the countdown sets The time is right now, fuck SoundCloud rap of 85 kilos for 10. That is so hard, all of it. I've only done three work working sets by just high, high volume. Um, so it feels like a lot. I've just done some damage, which is good, which is what you want when <laughs> you train. But um, yeah, so now I'm gonna move on to some accessory work. For the victory lap though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Little broom when I came through the front door. Ask me if I stress up a cunt, what for? Train in the trees, please walk my sycamore. Touch burning sands, cross lands and Still me sure, sure, seasons in the year, yeah. Ain't no channel for champions and chain no fear. Yep, the champ is here. Switch gears with the big headers in the rear. At the blood, sweat, and tears, and my goal so near. I see my victory so clear. I see my victory so clear. And today, we break through. 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 So I just finished my accessory work and I can tell you that felt like a huge session. So now we're going to go and get some food, which is one of the major things that I like to do when I finish training is just refeed. When I say refeed, I'm talking about the good stuff, not any like dirty burgers or anything. That's for one day of the week. But during the week I have a fairly um, 
clean diet where I'm having foods that are nutritious to my training and my muscles uh, and fuel me properly so I'm not sluggish and I'm ready to go the next day. So um, yeah, so we're gonna go head down and do that now. I'm gonna bring you along for the ride and yeah, let's do it. favorite places so they have like basically meal prep it's a meal prep bar so all the good stuff I've got like some white potato which is high in potassium and really good post training to fuel your muscles I've got chicken protein protein synthesis <laughs> protein synthesis <laughs> Uh, for building muscle, repairing muscle, um, some pumpkin. I can never say it right. Pumpkin. Is that right? Yeah. I don't know why I failed to say pumpkin. Everyone picks me up on it. Uh, and zucchini is a nice green filler, but I'm um, real simple and super, super clean. See you next time. So I'm finally home in my big shirt where I like to be putting out content right now on the computer for you guys so thanks for tuning in today if you liked what you saw in today's video please give me a is it a love heart give me a love heart not a like um, or is it a like I think it's a like give me a love heart and a like whatever I just start tapping the computer but yeah thank you for tuning in uh, please subscribe if you haven't su subscribed to my channel yet because I'm pumping these out all the time as you know because I'm always talking about it but I'm really excited to keep this going so thank you for tuning in today and I'll catch you guys